We thought it might require wild horses to drag some of us away from the splendors of Lisbon, but here's the best we can do, a few not so tame ponies. The place this time is about 100 miles from London. Yes, it's the new forest, and the occasion of our visit is to witness a pony drift, or roundup, one of the three held every year. The ponies are rounded up in a way which may seem sedate to Western fans, but it achieves its purpose quite as effectively. The riders are a mixture of volunteers and commoners, those who have grazing rights in the forest. The ramrod of this particular outfit is the senior adjuster, Mr. Ings, who is employed by the verderers of the new forest and whose job is the care of the commoners' ponies. The ponies enjoy their freedom and don't take kindly to being rounded up and herded into the old corral, so they don't let the riders have it all their own way. The New Forest, incidentally, was originally a hunting ground of the early West Saxon kings, and its title is derived from the reforestation scheme instituted by the first of the Norman line, King William the Conqueror, in 1079, so it's not really all that new. For easier management, the forest is divided into four parts, each under the supervision of an adjuster. The object of the roundup is to identify and mark the various animals, each owner having his own particular mark. Probably the most depressing job for the adjusters is looking after ponies involved in car accidents. The not too badly injured are given treatment, but each adjuster carries a humane killer. During the course of one year, 142 ponies were killed and 70 injured, mostly by private cars. When the tail hair is cut, the resulting hair is taken as adjuster's perks. Apart from this, the owner is charged a grazing fee of 15 shillings per head, or per tail, depending on which way you look at it. After each roundup, a number of animals are sold, and the sales attract buyers from all over the country. The remainder are turned loose to enjoy once more a freedom that is directly attributable to a far sighted monarch.